pretty good start. We're going. One more, one more. All right, then let's start to look at the options. We had a, we have coastal wind at the moment. It's just the effect of um, the the land that is warmed up by the sun. Uh, the wind will be changing soon, though. So we need to see a bit of options. And for this, we have Tara Time Zero. So as we see, all the fleet here moving. And yeah, we're not bad, we're here. We have one here, two here. So not too bad so far, but you know, it's a one month race. So much can go wrong. And then we can add the weather. So that's the weather that we're gonna have soon. Yeah, go, go, go. Isham, one month at sea. What do you think? Looking forward to it. Yeah? Unless I'm being seasick. <laughs> you won't be seasick. No, I not think not after one try. week. I had my trial, yeah. Sitting on stars Are you shining just for Sitting on stars There's so much that I can say Who knows I felt it from the first embrace I share with you that now our dreams they finally come true. City of stars, it's just one thing everybody wants. Daring the bars and through the smoke. All right, welcome to the doldrums. Oh. We are right out of Portugal, the first day, <clears throat> and we just become in the kind of weird area west of Gibraltar. Not much wind. We placed ourselves not too bad, I think. Light wind, spinnakers, Elming's Museum, and hopefully this afternoon we get some higher pressure. This area here, see wind is coming in this area, so we should benefit from this. That's the plan, let's see how it turns out. Think I wanna stay, city your stars, are you shining just for me? Stars never shine so brightly. What are you up to, Manuel? <laughs> Can I help you? No, you can't. I no? Okay. So that we don't lose our... That's a good thing. So, could you, have you been able to tighten it maximum or? Yeah, there, there's a bearing, in, uh, something inside, a uh, stuffing that. So this is actual footage from my bank. I'm not even enhancing the sound for it. It's the spinnaker shit going through a fridge and ring on back. And it's like this every 30 seconds ish. Good night. This is not my hut. That's one of the maintenance guys that forgot it. Oh. I feel I feel like I'm selling drugs in the desert. Anyway. Alright, go go go. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, did you buy that hat? Were you giving it? It's Blake's. Blake's. Oh nice. He forgot it. Just never stops. All right, so it's day three into the race. Uh, we left, yeah, three days ago from uh, Portugal. 
we were about like 500 miles into this journey and we've been doing we've been pretty doing pretty good so far um, sticking along the, the Moroccan coast <coughs> gave us a good advantage we are with a group of five boats still such a long race it's hard to say if we're first or last so we never know at last we're more towards the front of the fleet which is pretty good um, yeah everyone is working their ass off so it's pretty good uh, it's starting to get warm as we go south um, about a hundred miles away from uh, from Canaries now uh, last time I came here was uh, was with my boat and uh, just had the best time there. It's sad not to stop and, uh, and see Jose. Still a long race, still lots of things, da working with daily problems and things like this. But so far, we the boat is moving, so we we hope we continue to do this way. Getting really good at helming with Spinnaker, so that's uh, that's nice. I'm I'm able to stay there uh, in the nav station, just do a bit of tactics and you know with you a bit. So no, really nice. It's, it's going well. Um, we'll see, in the next day we should have more wind uh, coming uh, as we pass Canaries and then we'll go for the scoring gate, so the scoring gate is just like two marks, two virtual marks um, somewhere and the first boat to pass these two uh, marks um, gets uh, three points, the second boat two points and the last boat uh, one point and all the rest going through the gates gets nothing. So it's always good to go for these extra points, uh, like we did on the first leg, uh, getting second on this ocean sprint. So yeah, yeah we'll, we'll try to go for this. My hand, <laughs> We're 1.6 miles from uh, Corsadia. Yeah. Good job. What do you say a lot when you're at the end? Fair away, head out, <laughs> stop vlogging, yeah, uh, trim, 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 kite, kite, kite. Like the other side. Hey, John. What does bear away mean? <laughs> Which way? <laughs> bear away. It's oh, the other way. The side of left the or right. Left or right. It's 50-50. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's our problem. That's our problem. <laughs> <laughs> Gym, gym uh, <laughs> session there. Well done, everybody. All right, where's the, where's the last one? Goodbye. Oh, it's too bad for them. Don't need that. Still the same. Soy sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Korea. Drop down. Oh, 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 oh
At that point, we had been three or four days at sea, and we had just passed the Canary Islands, making our way towards the Cat Verde and the scoring gate that was just north of it. We were constantly under spinnaker, our code 2 was up, and we were doing good speed. So good that we were in the lead, with Visit Sanya, Jorge's boat, sometimes second, sometimes first, switching places. But the afternoon right after that watch, I was having a nice nap in the sail locker, when I feel the boat slowing down and some shouting starting. I always keep my life jacket when I have a nap, so I jump on deck and can only witness the inevitable. It's there, the mother of all wraps. The spinnaker, because of mistakes from the helmsman, got wrapped not only around the forestay, but also around the inner forestay. No way to solve this from deck. Within seconds, I have the climbing harness on and the crew swept me up the mast. Starting an hour and a half battle to unwrap our code too. Me from the top and the crew from the deck. We eventually got it back on deck with only minor damage. And within minutes, we had our code 3 up and we were racing again. But this one and a half hour at reduced speed made us lose quite some ground on Sanya and allowed Chindao to come back to our level. This one mistake definitely played a huge role in the rest of that race. So again, lessons learned. Never ever let down your guard, never get complacent and never stop trying to do things better and faster. <laughs>